Oh, yeah. You know what time it is, thing. Birdman hand rub time in here. Because we black, man. Another Tuesday in the building, man. We appreciate you, Zoners, man, for tuning on. Then welcome to your choice for more information and the people's choice for inspiration right here on Grand Day Baltimore. Tuesdays, I'm Joseph Garner, along with my co-host over there, Damon Williams. We had a long night again yesterday, Damon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Down Naptown, seeing the rallies going on. It's good stuff out there. The political scene. You're, you're political? You're, you're, you're a political? I would say no. No? no. I would say no. You know, it's funny. You got people who really, really get off on power. Yeah, yeah, no, that's why I'm asking because that's 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 the like people get get in their feelings, you know, when it come when it come to the politics out here, man. They get get emotional. I look. I've always been amazed, uh, kind of sort of, at those people. Mm. Mm. You know, I mean, how passionate they are, and you know, obviously, you know, it affects some aspects of it affects your lives. Yeah, it affects our lives, but uh, but I've always been a little. Wow, this really like gets you going. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hey, uh, well, you know, if you're just tuning in, you, you don't know what we're talking about, man. Damon and I had the uh, opportunity to go down to the uh, state capitol down there, down down Naptown last night. Uh, did some work for the uh, AFL CIO, man. Big shout out to uh, Ray Baker. Big shout out to the president, Kenya Campbell, out there. Good people. Good people over there at the Labor Union, Damon. Good mm-hmm. people. All right. Well, how about this, man? You're still, you're still ringing from all the young. From all, all, all the cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the rah-rahs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's actually uh, different to see. You know what I mean? Usually you see it on TV, but to actually see, you know what I mean? What do we want? Yeah. When do we want it? Now. You know what I mean? And to yeah. kind of see that kind of stuff live, it was kind of like, okay, all right, okay. Yeah. So and for them to kind of break it down. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what it's what it's really really about. But what, obviously you already know what it's about, mm-hmm. but you see it, you know, you kind of, and it's almost like you see where they're poking. You know what I mean? When you see the politicians actually hitting them talking points. Yeah. You see, yeah. When you get them to do all the rah 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 rah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Labor. Yeah. It was it was wild stuff, man. It was good stuff. Good stuff seeing the uh, democratic process. Uh, taking place, mm-hmm. right? Where we where we live in. Where we live in right now. All right, well, hey man, you guys know what's taking place outside right now on this Tuesday, March twelfth. We're about ten minutes from the top of the hour, man. It is 60, 66 degrees and sunny out there. We're going to get to a high sixty six out there today, Damon. And then you see, man, look at that. Look at Thursday and Friday, seventies coming around out here, brother. Right, come on, man, you can't. You want all of this snow and all of that craziness out here. You are insane. Oh, I already know that's, 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 we didn't have a winter. We just skipped right on over. It's snow. It's snow. We had a, we had a snowstorm. How many, how many snowstorms do you want? That wasn't a real snowstorm. <laughs> it was enough. It Come was, on, man. It was enough, man. Enough out there. All right. Well, let's jump into these uh, top stories. Hey, we appreciate the thumbs up out there, man. Keep on coming through, smashing that thumbs up button for us, smashing that like button, minimize us. We're about to get it going right now on the Liquid Lunch, man, with some information for the people today, for the people. All right, so top stories for today, Dave. You're a processed food eater? I think a lot of people. Yeah, I think we all are. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> a lot of I just had a granola bar. Is that, is that considered processed? You, you might be safe if it was if it was organic, but I, I don't know. No, it's it's, it's processed because they put it through something in the machine. It wasn't there. born that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, you see it up on the screen, zoners, man. Consuming diets high in ultra processed foods is the link to a heightened risk of thirty-two different health issues, Damon. Yeah, including cancer heart and lung conditions, obesity, diabetes, duh, and mental health disorders. Wow, okay, so you can also get, uh, you know, some some problems wrong with your mind when you're eating the wrong things, man. 
And all of this is uh, according to a comprehensive review of 45 meta analysis published in the BMJ. All right. Now, the study emphasizes that ultra processed foods characterized by multiple industrial processes and additives often lack essential nutrients while being high in sugar, fat and salt. So there you go. Then. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So if they're characterized by multiple industrial processes and they have a bunch of different additives in them, there you go. All right. The evidence indicates a 50% increased risk of cardiovascular disease related death. Sheesh. 48 to 53% higher risk of anxiety and mental disorders and a 12% greater risk of type 2 diabetes. And it's, it's actually wild to see that right now because uh, I have a cousin that's going through uh, some, some diabetic issues right now. I just had surgery, Damon. Lost, lost part of a foot. Sheesh. Yeah, wild stuff, wild stuff. Wow. Yeah, the study underscores the need for public health measures, including food labeling and economic policies promoting fresh, minimally processed foods. So there you go, Dave. There you go. You know, when you look at our generation, we, like, we look at like something as simple as Lunchables. Mm-hmm. That, we, we're too old for that. We, Lunchables weren't a thing when we grew up. No, we took sandwiches. We took sandwiches. Yes. You yeah. know. You know, the only thing you really can say, like juice boxes, we had juice boxes as kids, yeah. but everybody didn't bring those to school. You had a thermos. No, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, your mother would put whatever was in the thermos, yeah. whatever was in the house in your thermos. Shoot, we had the lunch boxes that had the matching thermos. Mm. Think about that. So, mm. you know, yeah. you know, there wasn't a lot of juice boxes. Certainly, there wasn't Lunchables. Juice, juice was a thing that became popular, like, in our... Like when we were teenagers, <laughs> like, I mean, like all the multiple, the multitude, the myriad, like, oh, yeah, they, like yeah, I mean, as kids, you had orange juice, you had apple juice, you had, you know, the fancy families, cranberry juice. But after that, and grape juice, if you was balling that week. Yeah, you know what I mean? But now it's, you know, you got the mango, kiwi, strawberry flavor. You know what I mean? All these different you know flavors. What? Like what in the world? That stuff is, that's, that's a more modern thing that came along when we were like. 17, 18, 19, you it's know, going in our 20s. That. That, yeah. wasn't our, that wasn't our youth either, having all those different juices. Damn, it's crazy. You said, do you remember Twister? Twister. Mm. It was like a cranberry orange juice mix. <laughs> they came out when we were like in high school, and I remember like going crazy over it. It was special. That I'm going to tell you another one. Stuff. Splash. It was one called Splash. Mm-hmm. And it was like carrot juice and all this different you're right. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, that was that was that was that was that was a later on thing. A later on thing. All right. Now look, other things about uh, cancerous cars and agents, Dan. All right, check this one out, man. It's cancer in the creams out there. All right, Valashore, a testing company, has discovered benzene, a known carcinogen, in topical acne treatments containing benzol peroxide, such as proactive. Clarisil and Clinique products. So listen, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, man, they done, they done discovered in their testing that those those chemicals uh, or those products that you use for acne out here have a known carcinogen. All right, now uh, they peti- petitioned the FDA to recall and suspend sales of benzoyl peroxide in the U.S. market. The high benzene levels result from benzoyl peroxide decomposing over time when combined with other substances in acne medication, particularly at high temperatures. Now, while uh, benzoyl peroxide has been used for acne treatment for over 60 years, dermatologists suggest alternatives like, all right, now I hope I'm saying this right, salicylic, salicylic acid. I don't want to put that on my skin. All right, now, this isn't the first time Valashore has raised concerns, Damon. Uh, previously, they found NDMA in Zantac and uh, benzene in hand sanitizers, sunscreen, body spray, and also in dry shampoo. So uh, some of these products were recalled, but uh, manufacturers have maintained their safety out there. Dubs. Maintain their safety. So, man, it's... It reminds me, look, we, we always like to put it up there for the people, man, because y'all, y'all see what's going on out here, man. A lot of weird, bizarro world stuff. But it, it reminds me, think of the uh, 
the Jack Nicholson Joker. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he was putting all the poisons in different products. Yeah, the cosmetics. Yeah, that everybody was using. And you had to combine all of the products to eventually go crazy and kill yourself. The different shampoos, the lotions, the makeups, all of that stuff, man. All that imitates life out here. Art oh, yeah. I mean, imitates you can, life. You know, it's so funny. I was just someone we know. I was just saying, you know, about Clinique. Mm-hmm. And how some of the stuff is alcohol based, and how you know, and people rub it on their face, and I mean, it dries you out. But um, to your point, you can look at some people, and you can see. I think they're addicted to makeup. Mm. Mm. I think some some of these so there's some people out here. Oh, I mean, the way they have to put it on. Quaint. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you ever never realized that's quaint right there. <laughs> yeah, like I think I think cosmetics are a bit of an addiction. Mm. Mm. All right, hey, well, Zonas, let us know what you think, man. We see you out there watching. You rock, you rocking out with us right now, getting your liquid lunch on. Let us know in the comments, man, and we'll be sure to post it up in the peanut gallery. And uh, actually, uh, I didn't. Oh man, I forgot about it, Damon. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it during the break and see if that uh, I can get it ready out here. Oh, right. some guys out there who yeah. pour cologne on themselves like they're addicted to. Uh, oh man, all over. So I ain't beating up on the ladies. <laughs> just be clear. I'm an oil user. I put the, I put oils on. I'm an oil you know the cologne guys I'm talking about. Uh-oh. You shake their hand and then your hand smells like theirs for the next. <laughs> Even you can wash your hands and you still smell like them. Bad, bad. <laughs> hey, look, let us go holler at these sponsors, man, and let me fix this uh fix this graphic up to see if I can do it today, man. And we'll be right back. All right. Coming back with more uh, Bizarro World stuff out there for the Zoners out there, man. We appreciate y'all for zoning in with us, man. And we got more information for you, man. Check this one out, man. This is a crazy story right here. We talk about art imitating life, Damon. All right, well, here you go. In the world out there when when, when CIA agents and guys disappear and they get unalived and all of this kind of stuff, and people are like, man, that's not real. Mm-hmm. Uh, something similar to that. Maybe going on right now, Damon. All right? It's all over the news. <laughs> all over the news. Former Boeing employee John Barnett, known for raising concerns about production standards, has been found dead in the United States. All right, now Barnett, who worked at Boeing for 32 years until his 2017 retirement, had been given evidence, giving evidence in a whistleblower lawsuit against the company before his death all right now the 62 year old died from a i'm gonna put this in air quotes but you can't see me right now self-inflicted wound damage on march 9th confirmed by the charleston county coroner all right barnett had worked as a quality manager at boeing's north charleston plant where he alleged substandard parts were being fitted to aircrafts compromising safety all right, Bowen denied his claims, but a 2017 FAA review partially upheld his concerns. At the time of his death, Barnett had been in Charleston for legal interviews related to the case, and his body was found in his truck in a hotel car parking lot. <laughs> Unalived. Now, another thing that he also pointed out, Damon, was that, think about this, one out of every four of the oxygen masks that would drop from the ceiling in case of emergency were faulty. Wow. 
Yeah. Yeah. Wild stuff out there, man. Bizarro world stuff out there. Whistleblower. You believe? How much of the story do you believe? Self- oh, no, this, no, yeah, that part. How much of that? What was it self inflicted? Yeah. I mean, I mean, you are. We know the dangers of suicide out there, right? Uh, shoot, we, we just got flagged uh, talking about suicide last oh, yeah. week. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, we know that it that it is a danger, uh, you know, and that individuals do do it. But, I, I you know, I, I don't think someone that had been, you know, it's what they're saying. So since 2017, so for seven years, he had been fighting to expose these things. It's why would he, why yeah. give up names? You know what I mean? Yeah, Why I give up? He was passionate about whatever he did. Yeah. It's weird. Weird. It was, it was fishy. Bizarro. Was fishy way. and um, convenient. I mm. say that it's convenient. Mm. Now, me, I'm not. Th- this this story worries me because I am. I get a little worried when I when I fly. I do too, man. Yeah, I'm not, I, I don't, don't like flying. I'm just gonna put it out there. Hey. I actually don't like flying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a ne- well, I guess you could say it's a necessary evil. Is it a necessary evil to fly? I mean, John Madden. You know, that's like John yeah. Madden is famous for never flying. Like he didn't do it. I, I don't have to leave the continent. I don't have to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, like, do you have to? Yeah. I'm just saying. You know, people fly. If I want to travel. I gotta fly. That's true. Yeah. But do you have to? Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. So yes, I guess it's a necessary evil, but it's also a luxury. That's all I'm saying. You can sail, <laughs> but yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah, stories like this, I'm with you. They kind of bother me because yeah, when you think about faulty equipment, you know, even when they when a plane is turbulence, mm-hmm. that bothers me. Mm-hmm. So yeah, these stories. I'm better off not even knowing about it. Yeah, yeah. Big big shout out to Tish Sam's out there, man. Uh, the half of the Wellie, man. She was telling me, uh, I mean, she just flew last week for work. And uh, she said that uh, she she hit some real, real, real bad turbulence. Yeah, it's scary. Man. Yeah, she didn't, she didn't like it at all. Didn't like it at all. Well, hey, you say scary, Damon. Well, how about this, Damon? How about this? Another thing that's scary in the news. All right. Do you know who is Jimmy Barbecue? Cherizier. I just heard about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. Now, Jimmy Barbecue Cherizier is uh, a gang leader, Damon. Well, they call him a gang leader. All right, now, in Haiti, deadly fighting between armed gangs and police has intensified this week with, and I'll put it in air quotes again, gang leader Jimmy Cherizier calling for the overthrow of the unelected government. All right, and it's kind of, Convenient to call a guy that wants to topple the government or or the leader of a gang. Uh, Usually it would be a coup coup d'etat or, you know, something along those lines, right? Sherazair, also known as Barbecue, that's a great nickname, was once a police officer and is accused by the U.N. of involvement in massacres, including one in 2018 where over 70 people were killed. All right, now in 2020, he formed the GN Family and Allies Alliance, Damon. Uniting nine gangs in the capital. All right. After President Moise's assassination in 2021, Sherazier accused opposition leaders and police of the plot. His alliance gained notoriety by seizing control of Haiti's main fuel port, causing nationwide disruption. UN reports reveal widespread atrocities by gangs impacting food supplies and basic services. Sherazier is one of five sanctioned gang leaders. Yet gangs still control much of the capital. Uh, Prime Minister Ariel Henry seeks international support for a UN-backed mission to combat the escalating gang violence in Haiti. Day. They st- Haitians get it on. Yeah, well, they get it on, brother. I also think the you lack, ain't playing around. They, I think the lack of uh, luxury and access kind of. Inspired Inspi- that. inspires that. Yeah, Americans are fat and fat and sitting pretty. Mm. Even our even our poor people mm. are living good compared to how it is <laughs> to, to, to be poor in Haiti. Yeah, <laughs> to be poor. I mean, you, just got, you even got parts of our country that that are living worse than other parts of the country. Like a lot of people in America didn't realize how poor it was in New Orleans till Katrina. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I used to joke with people we know. 
from here. And they, oh, man, I'm from the hood. I'm like, nah, you don't really know how bad it can be. Like, you can really use the bathroom outside. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. you know, yeah, you're right. So, they got a different kind of spirit. Now, they, they, got, they got rumors spreading on the internet. They're trying to say that he's the head of a, a cannibalistic gang out there. And we know that all of that is a bunch of nonsense. But, uh, I mean, it just, you know, those guys are, you know. But it's like, you know, they use these words gang, terrorist, terrorism. Mm-hmm. You know, what, 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 what do they call George Washington? His crew. Mm, revolutionaries. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that over there in the chat, man. Look at that over in the chat, man. Big shout out to uh, Ray Askins joining us. He's dropping uh, some breaking news, Damon. Some breaking news over there in the chat right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Ray Askins says uh, Grand Day in Baltimore. <laughs> right? Side note, Derek Henry just signed. So it looks like King Henry. Is a raven, dude. Okay. Caca, caca, man. We like our old players here. Hey. We like our old veterans. Good stuff, man. Hey, Good stuff. Hey. Good stuff. I thought that may happen after Gus. Gus had was left. Gus had to. Gus yeah. had to dip on us. Gus had to go do his Should thing. There be some rules against that, though. I mean, you got nepotism. You have uh, collusion. Shouldn't there be some type of rule against brother to brother? Trade. <laughs> he helped his brother out, man. I mean, come on, hey. They trade coaches. I mean, well, you know, even though it was college, the pro, but now you you're you're in the league. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't there be some type of? Because didn't um our last coordinator didn't he come from San Francisco? Yeah, 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 yeah. Greg Roman. Well, Greg and, Roman. I mean, Greg Roman is out yeah. there in uh, Los Angeles now too with Gus Edwards. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. Wait, where is it? <laughs> So they just they just trading around jobs, yeah. there, man. trading around jobs. But hey, that's great to know. Welcome to Baltimore, King Henry, man. Come on through Alabama's finest out there, Damon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look, hey, we're going to continue to holler at our sponsors. Let Damon and I clear our throat with some of this liquid lunch, and we'll be right back, man. We got uh, we talking LSU and Oscars. Stick around, y'all. Sports news out there, Damon man. SEC title game got a little got a little crazy though. Yeah, and a dramatic turn of events at the SEC championship game. Uh South Carolina's Camilla Cardosa was one of six players that got ejected, man, with Cardosa pushing LSU's Flo J. Johnson to the floor. The altercation unfolded after an intentional foul, leading players uh, to leave the bench area, get into a little scuffle out there. And, and we'll show the uh, clip in a second, Damon. Johnson's brother even jumped over the scores table, man, and came out onto the court. Uh, he wasn't arrested, but he definitely came out there and confronted Cardosa for what she did to his sister. Now, he was later arrested. Oh, he was? Oh, okay, okay. So they laid, they later arrested him. All right, all right. Now, South Carolina won uh, 79 to 72. Uh, Cardosa apologized on social media, and uh, Coach Don Staley expressed regret about what happened out there, man. And uh, we have uh, some words from Coach Don Staley. We're going to play that uh, later on, a little bit later. But uh, definitely. I want you to see what happened out here. All right, so you tell me, Damon, what happened? 
We're going to pop it up on the screen for the people out there. The foul happened. Then the center comes out of nowhere. No, it's Flo moving, Flo it's moving a little slow here. Flo Flo push. Push, yeah, yeah. She, she pushed, pushed, she pushed the old pressure. girl right there. Yeah, she bumped her a little bit. Then Cardosa comes yeah. over. She didn't like it. Sorry, the video is uh, moving yeah. a little slow here for you, Zonas. Boom. She, she, so cracked the re- she cracked the referee. Too. <laughs> Everybody got cracked out there. Have some, have some. And then uh, right after that, then that's when you see uh, the brother come jumping over the scores table. I don't know what the hell he thought he was doing. Ah, man. That was. Like, what was that about? That was a little insane. He was doing it. But as the people say, doing too much. Doing. <laughs> like, why are you doing? Dude, it's, it's on the court. Doing too much. I mean, what, he's never seen his sister play physical or get fouled hard before. It just, it's a little crazy out there. His sister was pushed by another woman. And he came down there. He's jumping over. Come on, man. Yeah, now, hey, uh, South Carolina enters March Madness, Damon, as the top seed. And they are the sole unbeaten Division One team in men's and women's basketball. So they're the last of the Mohicans out here, the last uh, to not see a loss this year. All right, the SEC closed locker rooms to reporters uh, after the game. Uh, Staley also apologized to the crowd, Damon, emphasizing that the incident uh, didn't stem from malice. Now, uh, Baltimore's own, you you don't see her. She didn't didn't get get involved out there. Angel Reese went, sat down. Uh, Angel Reese had 15 points and 13 rebounds in the game. It was her third straight double-double in the tournament. Third she straight. Baltimore? Yeah. Angel Is Reese. She, you sure? Because we got some people out there. Saying that she not? No, we, we, got, we got some very smart guys. Geniuses. Today is opposite day. Yeah. Some geniuses who are saying, oh, no, she from Randall's town. That's Cause, Baltimore. Cause, cause she, she ain't jump in the fight. She ain't jump in the fight. Hey, hey, she, she was trying to stay eligible because now uh, the problem with South Carolina is – Old girl may not may not be eligible for to to play like the first two two games of the of the tournament. Might not be el- eligible for the entire tournament. I mean, depending on you know. No, nah, she shouldn't. No, just, maybe maybe game, just one suspend game, one game, game one, one game, game suspension. Game. Yeah. All right, there you go. I mean, it's, it's sports. You know, people get a little intense. Which Don St- Don Staley was a class act. Yeah. What she said versus what. Uh, LSU's versus, coach versus said. LSU's coach, yeah. Now, now LSU's who coach no, who had no claim. <laughs> well, she was she was inciting a riot out there, man. Yes. And uh, for South Carolina, man, this was their eighth tournament crown in the past ten seasons, man, and their sixteenth straight win over LSU. So maybe that's why Kim McCulkey was a little upset here. She she has not beaten South Carolina at all out here, man. Not beating them at all. And like you said, man. Staley, who was screaming uh, toward the LSU bench during the uh, incident, apologized toward the crowd and on behalf of the uh, ejected players and all of that. And we actually have uh, her apology here, man. So you know, let's, let me pull it up for the zoner so they can hear Sister Dawn out here. Check it out. I'm going to say this. Uh, Fly J came to me after the game, right after the game, and she just apologized and said she's not that type of player. And I really appreciate that. There's something that somebody won't ever hear if I didn't say anything. And she's not. She's a really good person. Um, things just got escalated. Um, I'll take responsibility for what happened from our side of it, um, which is we don't, you know, we – we we talk about these things as a you know as a as a team and we we try to as much as possible um express to them how not to react in, in those type of situations um but real time is real time and i know that you know anybody camilla as well as the other four or five players that were ejected i know if they had a chance to do it all over again they would do it differently but now we have that i just don't want um, the people who are tuning in to women's basketball see that and think, you know, that is our game because it is a, our game is a really beautiful thing. Um, and to be quite honest, this is this is a part of it now. So we have to fix it and we have to move on. Uh, there you go, Damon. Don Staley being a class act out yeah. there, man. Yeah. 
class act out there. She she even uh, yeah, she got some home training. Yeah, she she even deflected some of the attention from LSU out there. So that's good stuff out there, man. <laughs> Acting like she has some home training, <laughs> whereas uh, the coach at LSU acts like she's just uh, she uh, should have uh, got out there yeah. and, and pushed her hard. What what did she say if she was well, she, uh, she wouldn't have did that to a big yeah she wouldn't yeah. did that to a bigger player yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, but even and then dragging the Angel Reese into it, then these clowns. In Baltimore, you know, she get into it. She get, you know, that's because she ain't really good from Baltimore. Shut up, man. She went that's to real idiots. It's, it's, like, it's not, it's not uh, WWE, man. It's basketball. She, yeah, <laughs> you're you supposed, know, uh, yeah, actually, they actually like Don, like Coach Staley said, they actually coach the kids when the fight starts. Sit your behind down on the bench so you won't get suspended, man. So you won't you know, get suspended. But Angel Reese is, 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 it's a catch twenty two with her. Mm-hmm. If she fights, she 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 ghetto her rat. If she doesn't fight, she solved. Mm-hmm. She can't win. Mm-hmm. She can't win. Big that shot. Young, that young lady went and sat that butt on the bench. Or she had rolled her ankle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Anything. I mean, anything could happen, yeah. right? Anything could happen. Hey, big shout out to Marcus Jones out there who said that uh, Don Staley reminds him of his youth days. Yeah. yeah. UVA. The Cheryl Swoops days. Yeah. You know. Even though we don't like. Still. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. WNBA. We were there for for the beginning of the WNBA, man. When it was, I yeah. I actually bought a pair of the, the those Cheryl Swoop Jordans. For hey, big shout out to Lash by Aj out there. Can we say? Bought well, the Cheryl Swoop you, Jordans for her. Do you think that women's college basketball is has become more compelling than men's college basketball? Uh, I mean, it's. I mean, you definitely see they're they're equal now. I would say. I would say that they're equal now. You know equal. what I mean? Because you you see that you see the excitement for Caitlin Clark. You see the excitement for players like Angel Reese. You know, and then I mean, we can we can run down the list of them, man. The Dan, the Dana Tarasis, the you know all of them. I mean, just you know, talking about Don Staley and the Cheryl Swoops, they built. You know, through college, through women's college basketball, and then through the WNBA, man, they've they've built it up. Yeah, we watched they've it get we watched it get better and better, skill wise. Mm-hmm. You see the excitement, build. and I don't think this is all a media creation either, because there's some things that the media shoves down your throat so much. Mm-hmm. But I think the product at the highest level, I mean, fits fits. No, I mean, height, you know what I mean. It's it's hard to fix that biscuit going in the basket, man. And uh, you know, a lot of these young ladies can shoot, man. <laughs> and then when you know, and then when you see them, you know, and now with the you know, everybody's got the phones out, they're recording everything. So then you see them, and they are at like real pickup games and stuff like that, and they they cooking the the average guy. You know that the you know these young ladies can really they can really go, man. They can well, scoop. Well, boys and men always could rely more on their athleticism. Mm-hmm. So girls always had to have the skills. They had to have that talent. Yeah, yeah, seeing yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. somewhat, and you know, men's boys, men's basketball became over an above the rim game. You saw girls just developing their skills more and more and more. I think maybe that's what we're seeing. Mm. Possibly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What you think, Spark Jones? Hey, 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 hey! He's out there in the chat, man. Look, look. Hold on, Spark, man. Hold that comment, man. We'll be right black, man. We uh, we got Oscar talk out here, David. That's that's more your lane than my lane. I, did you watch it? The credits. Now, see, see, <laughs> see, see. We'll be right oh. black, man. Man, Oscars, man.
Yeah, you see it on the screen, Zoners, man. Tell all your fam, tell all your friends, man, to come on through the Zone 16 Network, man. Whether you see it on any platform, whether it be Facebook, IG, uh, Twitter, now it's known as X, man. We want you to come on through the Zone 16 Network. Don't forget, man, smash that like button for us out there. Share us in the algorithm out there so we can get more exposure for everybody out here on Grand Day Baltimore, man. It's always a good time when you zone in with us, man. Always a good time. And look, look, here's the thing, man. We getting Damon ready, y'all, for the for the OnlyFans page. So we, you know, <laughs> it's that time of year. We we working out. We hitting, you know, we hitting the gym. He he he, he out here walking, running around Lake Montebello out there. He ready for OnlyFans out here. Get, get pedicures. Ready for OnlyFans. Well, what, what he's actually doing, y'all, what he's actually doing, he's he's getting his, uh, let me see, let me make sure I pull it up on time here. He's getting his John Cena body together. Oh, man. Hey, check this one out, man. They are so important. Maybe the most important thing there is. I I, I can't open the envelope oh without God. the. Uh, the nominees for best costume design are. Man, Damon, and that now. Is this a sign of just how bad things are, bad the times are, where he's he's got to come out basically, I guess, naked to get a laugh? Where? I mean, yeah, this, this, this isn't the first time they've had these little, I guess, naked spoofs <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> naked spoofs yeah, on, yeah. On, the, on the Oscars. That's, yeah. what this, that's what's going on out here, man. This is crazy. You, you remember we let him? Yes, 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 yes. He came through. He came through at Fox. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a cool guy. Cool guy, John yes. Cena out there. Huh. Yes, it's, it's 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 definitely something with Hollywood where they want to embarrass people. But you know, well, they, I mean, that's that's what's trending right now. So hey, we we putting our ten four koofy on right now, fam man. If you're out there, join in the chat, man. Put your ten four koofy on with us. But the the humiliation ritual. That's but, what's that's what's trending right now. So. I mean, but. With this guy, <laughs> well, he, he made a living with 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 our swimming trunks on. Yeah, jumping around in the yeah, wrestling yeah, ring. Yeah. Well, now look 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 below us, and you you'll see it up there on the screen, Damon. And pictures are starting to surface now of uh, John Cena because now he we knew him as the rapping wrestler. Yes. But now this guy, yeah, you see him with uh, he's got skirt on with thigh high stockings and some. Uh, some high heel boots there, and then the, the wig there, and he's 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 trending because uh you know last month Cat Williams was talking about it man the humiliation ritual and all the stuff that goes on there. Did you mm-hmm. watch Peacemaker, Peacekeeper, 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 or Peacemaker? No, I, no, no, no. Which was which is a Peacemaker, Peacekeeper? I get, look, I got an answer. I said nah. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, it was good. It was it was really it was really good. Yeah. But um, I mean, you know. Sometimes you, you, you see guys who become stars in place of other ones. You wonder why it happened, you know. That's when you do put your, your ten four hat on and say, why him? You mm. know. You figure it's like the, the Rock, then him. Yeah. But you wonder why, like, a Stone Cold Steve Austin didn't become the star that John Cena became. Because mm. remember, Steve, John Cena was corny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so it, it didn't seem like something that would work, but it works. I mean, Cab Williams said, name the unsuccessful person that you've seen uh, wear the dress in Hollywood. Unsuccessful? Yeah, unsuccessful person that you've seen wear the dress in Hollywood. I got to think of all the people. <laughs> you got you to gotta think, man. There's a lot of people that wore that, that put that dress on. Man. Tyler Perry put the dress on, blew up. Who's the church lady? Uh, Tom the, Hanks. Who's the church lady? What's, what's his name? Oh, and Dana Carvey. Yeah, yeah. Would you say he's super successful in Hollywood? I mean, he never he never came out of the dress, but when he did, he had 
Didn't he have other movies? Didn't they yeah. gave him? He had the uh, yeah, he had what? the uh, yo, the funny one man about being the gigolo. That's not him. That's not the same guy. That's not He's, American gigolo. Was, no, Damn, that's a big bitch. When he was, <laughs> you don't remember that part. That's not. I thought that was Dana Carvey. All right, my bad. Maybe it is. Maybe my it bad. Is. My bad. I get I get the little white guys from turning out live. Confused. I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do. Oh man, it's, it's, it's him and the, the, the shots fired. <laughs> what were the guys that the um? Oh man, the, they dress like they was out going out Miami. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. not one of those. He's not one of those guys. Is he? Yeah. One I'm, is one is Chris Kattan. It's Will Ferrell and Chris, Chris Kattan, so I know it's not him. Okay. Okay. Him. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't know. Other than Dana Carvey, well, other than him, no, I can't really name. Because all the brothers who put on dresses, they're all very successful. Mm. That mm. I can think of. There you go. Martin. Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tyler Perry. Flip Wilson. Eddie. I'm going to take it back. Yeah, I'm taking it back to Flip Wilson. Richard. <laughs> hey, we I we, mean, well, we seen we Richard Pryor with the dress on and the heels and the lipstick. But he was already really famous before that. Before he did that, okay, he was. Well, which way is up when he played all those characters? Yeah, but you talking about JoJo dancing? Yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah. already a superstar by then. By then. Oh, all right. Mark, Marcus Jones is saying in the chat that that's not it. Wasn't him? Okay. All right. All right. That wasn't him. And uh, well, we can say that he he's a guy. Who famously wore, but the church lady was a was a big hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So much so, I thought it was a real woman. Yeah. You didn't you didn't think that about old old, old church? And I've never found men in dresses funny at all. At all, that's that like, was. I've never seen the comedy in that. I've never seen like I see more comedy in fart jokes <laughs> than I do in men in. Dresses. The, the, the clumps gave you both. The clumps gave you Eddie Murphy in a dress and a fart joke. All in one scene, but but so that wasn't funny. But he wasn't. But the joke wasn't. He's a dude dressed as a woman. No, 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 you no. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like did. It. He did a whole. He did a whole family. He yeah, did a whole exactly. Family. Like Wanda. I give you that. I give you. Yeah, that. like Wanda. The yeah. whole that was a joke. Yeah, was that Jamie Fox played this ugly woman? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Shanene Martin plays the, the, the ghetto. You know, um, person lives on this hall, lives on the hallway in his apartment. That was the whole, that was his entire joke. I never found any of that funny. So, Medea, I don't find Medea funny. That's just me. I never saw the comedy in it. So it does always, so it always is contrived to me no matter what. Like, why y'all put him in a dress? Like, you can't write something else. That's just me. You know, everybody likes what they like. And no, I cannot name a successful brother who did, who wore a dress. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I can't name it. Oh, oh, white guy. Dustin Hoffman, uh, Tom Hanks. <laughs> there was a whole show dedicated to that for Tom Hanks. I'm trying to keep keep talking because I'm trying to Rick I'm trying Ray, to see who, something. Who was the other dude on Bosom Buddies though? That was with Tom Hanks yeah, on Bosom Buddies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was the other dude. Cause they, you know what I'm saying, yeah, we can't name him. So, so we have. We definitely got one. We have one. We have one. The other dude from Bosom Buddies, he was not very successful <laughs> by putting on a dress. There you go. All right. Now, uh, what I'm what I'm trying to do up here, Zonas, is uh, I think I learned how to Damon. See if we can get uh some callers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me see. We're, gonna, we're just going to test it out. We, we like to do uh, quirky things up here, man. So we're going to test it out right now and see how this works, man. We we want somebody, somebody call me. We're we're going to breathe. We're going to call a breather. We're going to call a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. So I got the link here. I'm going to copy the link. And I'm going to drop it in the chat. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who says scared case? I have a great idea for a sitcom. These two guys. <laughs> gonna get these two guys, two guys. to dress naked. No, no. <laughs> I'm saying bosom buddies. 
But the apartment that's available, it has to be two girls. These guys can only find one. In all of whatever city it's in, of all of Baltimore, <laughs> the only apartment that's available is one that is, oh, has to be two girls. So these guys dress as girls. That's the show. <laughs> Who thinks that up? Crazy people. Uh, hey, hey, he's on it now. Is we got a couple people in the chat right now. If you wanna come on and let's let's help us out right now while we're talking about uh men in dresses because we hey, we were talking about mercies last week. Now we're talking about men in dresses to get famous out here. Uh, give us a second. Uh, see what happens, man. Just click on that live link right there. It says click to join in the in the uh, group chat. If you're watching us on uh, YouTube or one of these, eh, help us out. See if that link works. We're going to pop you on. Man. We're going to see if you come in. Let's see see if anybody clicks the link. Play some music here. See what happens. We'll leave it up for about a minute. Nobody's going to click the link. Y'all see y'all out there, man. It's five of y'all in the chat. No one wants to talk this to is five. They don't want to talk to us, man? No. They, they don't want people to really see what they're doing at the liquid lunch. Yeah, man. These people at work, man. They did not. They're trying to hide. They're trying to, trying to draw snitch. Uh, I let them talk. Let them, just, let them type away out there. Well, nobody calls anymore. They not nobody calling. Nobody texts you. You call somebody and they text you back. What's up? Oh. Look, 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 look. Oh, there we man. go. There we go. Somebody joined us. Somebody is joining this. Hold up. Hold up. This is the dead. Hold up. We're going to make this happen. Hey, the man to hug your kids. I'm going to click it there. We got a guest in the green room here. Let me see. Let me see. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. It's, it's a in the green room. They, 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 they done clicked the chat. Hold up, man. It's about to get crazy out here. Let me see something. I ain't got your money. No, oh, they looking for Damon and the money. All right, so then I click here. I got MJ up. I want to accept him into the... I see you there, brother. Oh, he hung up. He hung up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's, see. Let's see who was in here. Oh, oh, oh. There go one. There go one. Yeah. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going live. With- Talk to us, brother. Can we, can we hear you? Take un- unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, brother. What's right? up, man? I yeah. <laughs> Big noise. Yeah, there I'm it is. It works. It works. Look at that. We tested up, it out, man. man. We we rock it out in here, man. We got it's a little glitchy, but we we live with it, man. Hey, it's man, you didn't hear from, from that. Uh, you didn't hear from that other dude from the bosom buddies, man. Uh, uh, after New Heart. Uh oh. He's like live. He's live from the moon. Say it again. <laughs> we got we got to get these audio issues together, man. As soon as I get the audio right out here. I think I might you might be a little too loud. Let me Y'all were trying to figure out there. the other guy from Bosom Buddies. You still there, Ray? You still there, brother Ray? Brother Ray ain't there for us. All right, well look, look, look. We got we got somebody else in there. We got uh we as soon as we get these audio issues worked out, man, we go we gonna be good, man. We got we got some crazy. Yeah, look, we gotta go rescue Ray. <laughs> they got you, Ray. We coming to get you, man. Now it looks like it looks like let me see. MJ, you there for us? You there, brother? You you muted MJ. Talk to us out here. Unmute yourself. He don't want to unmute himself. Or did he hang up? You were sitting in the guest room, brother. He was sitting in the guest room. All right, so look, look. As soon as we figure this out, man, and we we work these uh work these kinks out, Damon. It look like we we're gonna be able to have a good time here, man. We can have people call in, talk to us. You know, yell at them like Kevin saying <laughs> it's gonna yell at people. It's gonna be good stuff, man. Oh, 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 MJ, MJ coming back. Wait a minute, MJ coming back. Let's I'm definitely gonna yell at him. All right, he's in the green room. I'm gonna sign him in the guest one. 
All right, let's see what happens here. I like it. I like it, David. I like it. We sitting here experimenting. Technology, man. Yeah. Technology. We are living in the future. Technology, man. That's a wild thing. We like Captain Kirk and Spock out here. <laughs> uh, can't find him now. He's not there no more. He gone. He gone. <laughs> but what's the zone the Spark Star Trek got lost to that certain zone? What's yeah. it called? Oh, oh, the oh. Phantom Zone. The Phantom, Phantom Zone. zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Marcus got caught in the Phantom Zone. Got caught in the Phantom Zone. We're we going to get it together, MJ, man. We're going to get you out there, uh, get you up here on the screen with us, man, as soon as we get these things together. But looks like uh, the signal was getting a little glitchy, too. So, But we'll figure it out, man. We'll figure it out. That's good stuff right there, David. Mm-hmm. That is good stuff, man. Talking bosom buddies out there, man. We appreciate the zoners for joining us. He's gonna tell us what happened. See, that's what happened, Ray. That's what happened because he, you weren't supposed to be letting people know what happened to the bosom buddies guy. That's supposed to be a deep secret. Mm. See, yeah, yeah. All right, so Dion Malone, we answering you out here. Yeah, you have to give permission for us to be able to see you. So when I drop the link, yes, you have to give permission to the camera and the microphone. Uh, to be able to join in. Like a Zoom meeting. And talk. Yep, 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 yep. yep. We're we expanding out here. Look, as soon as I work the kinks out, fam, we're going to have, we're going to get it, we're going to get it rocking, and y'all going to be able to uh, zone in with us and see your face up on the, up on the tizzy. Mm-hmm. The tizzy. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right. So, per usual, we always talk born days here, Damon. Mm-hmm. Got a couple interesting ones today, man. Couple interesting B days. Mm. Pop it up on the screen for the people. Other guy, bosom buddy. It's <laughs> 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 right So, hey, you see it up there, man. Uh, Turn the interview mode off. Hold on, let me turn this off. Sag the funk, man. Yeah, the music, the music is acting funky. I gotta turn all of this stuff off. Man. Yeah, man. I used to watch Buzz and Buddies. So I'm not gonna lie. You used to watch Buzz and Buddies. Yeah, it was one of them like cheesy. So sitcoms would come on like Saturday and you know, it was like that, and like, one of the shows, you know, that, that, you know, whatever, 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 Lopez Jero, seven-time Grammy Award winner and the only vocalist in history to win in three separate categories, jazz, pop, and R&B. He was born on this day in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He passed away, went on transition to the ancestors in February 2017. Also born on this day, Damon, a former baseball player who we know, Daryl Strawberry, man. He's known for his controversial behavior on and off the field. Strawberry was born in Los Angeles in 1962. Good stuff out there. Good stuff. 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 Good Okay. Now, uh, tragically, on this day, Damon, uh, in history, right, when we type, we like to talk our story here, Zoners, when you guys zone in, man. And uh, on this day in 1955, Damon, uh, Charlie Parker, one of the founding fathers of jazz music, passed away. Wow. All right, yeah. And then uh, also on this day, uh, Craig Mack. Oh, wow. 
flavor in your ear. Bad boy artist. Transition. March the 12th was known as the day that Craig Mack passed away. So did you see the news today that Boss passed away? The Boss? Yeah, yeah. That was that was yesterday. So right? yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, Boss passed away yesterday. Mm. Yeah, and I used then, to like that song. Mm-hmm. She had a couple of songs, didn't she? Mm-hmm. Deeper was the main one I remember. Deeper and deeper. All right, now look, hey, we were talking about uh, Haiti, right? Uh, on this day in our story, Damon, in 1968, the island nation off the coast of Africa, uh, Martius, gained independence from France. Damon. Mm. Gained independence from France on this day, March 12th. A lot of things going on out here mm-hmm. in uh, Pisces season, man, out there in our story. Man. Yeah, we need deep in it now. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Well, Marcus is saying he's still on hold. Uh oh. <laughs> That's why I'm getting the static in my ear. Stat- yeah, we got static in the music. We're bad. Look, we went in there. We went ahead and uh, got some callers to zone in, and things started getting a little crazy, a little wonky out here. So hey, look. We apologize for all of that, but we're we going to work out the kinks, man, so you guys will be able to click our links and uh, pause <laughs> and, jo- and join in and zone out with us, man, during the liquid lunchtime, man. It's always a good time, man. Uh, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I see you, Dion. She, uh, Dion Malone is saying she may have to sign on next time. She's in the office today. All right, so, hey, next time, we're going to work these kinks out. We're going to make sure, man, you're able to join Damon and Joy for the liquid lunch hour right here on Grand Day Baltimore, man. You got anything to say to the people before we get out of here, Damon? You got 30 seconds. Uh, I don't know. Stay healthy. <laughs> there you go from Damon. Stay off of that processed food, man. Stay healthy. So you, you look like John Cena when you, when you go out to the Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> get it together. All right. We appreciate you for zoning.